Hello, everybody. How are you? How are you today? Good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I'm fine. Thank good you, evening. teacher. All right. Very, very good. Okay. That's nice to see you all again. How was that vacation? Was it good? Cool. Okay. Yes, thank you. Okay, sounds like if you went to the beach, you know, sounds tired. No. <laughs> no, not to the beach. Stay home. No. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, uh -huh. I saw the picture. I saw your, your pictures in the in the newspaper. Uh, having fun. Okay, good. Okay, and what did you do? What did you do last week? In one sentence, I had fun. I enjoyed my vacation. Okay, what what did you do? I'm stay with my family. All right. In, in my home, uh, relax. Okay. Every week with my children. Okay. And eating. Eating torrejas. Eating torrejas. Okay. Fish. Fish. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo se dice pescado seco? Okay. Dry fish. Dry fish. Breakfast. breakfast. Yes, delicious. Wow. You, you, Only. Yes. What else do you want? You can ask. <laughs> okay, excellent. Um, okay. Only. Only. Only that. Okay. What about the rest? Look at that. What did you do? What did you eat? Uh, tell me some, some good things, some activity. Okay, did you have a, for example, did you, did you watch movies? Uh, did, you, uh, did you practice English? Did you study English? Did you dream in English? Hmm? Anybody? ¿Quién soñó en inglés? Todos quieren cero. No puedo creerlo. Okay, voy a llenar cero mi libro de notas. Nobody has dreamt in English yet. <laughs> okay, good. Fine. Yo estaba soñando en inglés un día de estos. Estaba preparando una clase. Yo se me saqué nueve por lo menos, right? Okay, good. Excellent. Then uh, we have today the... Um, this one. Let's see. We were studying the simple sentence, right? Remember affirmative sentences, yes? Negative sentences. And what else? ¿Qué más estamos estudiando? Remember? Simple present, verbs. Affirmative, negative. Alguien que se acuerde. Lo último, lo último que vimos. Uh, the use of uh, verbs. Uh, when we plus s, um, when about he, she, and it. Exactly. For example, exactly. she likes or he he goes. Okay. Um, the use of of do or does. The use of do or does, right? Exactly. So that is the <coughs> the third person, right? That is the use of the third person. And exactly. So there's where we stop. Now let me show you the. 
here, right? This is where we were. So we were talking also about the regular verbs, the regular verbs. Remember that they call it regular and irregular. Notice how the because they have has have and goes. Verb have changes whenever we talk about my father. Verbs will not change at all. If we look at the examples on the right hand side of the chart, we want to demonstrate that whenever we talk about the third person, he, she, or it, these verbs have, do, and go will change. And they change as follows. Have equals to has, do equals to does, go equals to goes. Let's analyze the examples on both sides of the chart. I have a bike. Notice how the verb have changes whenever we talk about my father. My father has a car. We do our homework every day. Notice how that changes whenever we talk about my mother. My mother does a lot of work at home. The same with my parents go to work by bus. The bus goes downtown. Now it's your turn to practice these three irregular verbs. I would like for you to form sentences about yourself and relatives and apply the rules that we just learned. Okay. Now, any questions about the use of have? Remember that uh, we know that in questions or in negative uh, sentences, we use does. Does as an auxiliary verb. But in this case, she For example, I'm, my mother does a lot of work. So in this case, that is a set. Okay. Uh, what would be the negative sentence for my mother does a lot of work? My mother doesn't. Doesn't? Doesn't. doesn't do. I'm done. Okay. In that case, we're going to use exactly. Thank you very much. We're going to use my mother. Listen, my mother. Doesn't do. Doesn't do. Uh -huh. Doesn't do a lot of. A lot of you know what, work at home. Okay, so my mother doesn't do a lot of work at home. So then we are saying here, doesn't is only no. Okay, only no. My mother no as right doesn't do a lot of work at home. The main, the principal action is do. Okay, this is the principal action. Do. My mother doesn't do. My mother doesn't work. My dad, mother doesn't pay. The same thing happens with uh, has. My father has a lot of. Uh, my father has a car. And the negative sentence. My father. Doesn't. Uh -huh. Doesn't. 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 Doesn
porque estamos hablando lo que está el ASEM en negativo. Sí, 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 ya me recordé, sí, sí, okay. sí, Perfecto. ok, no, gracias. Está bien, está bien, no sí. problem, good. Uh -huh. Ok, cuando estamos en negativo, eh, sí. el HAS va a ser siempre en el afirmativo, ok, en el afirmativo. Para la negativa, uh -huh. ah, que hacemos pregunta incluso, que a veces bueno, pregunta. Hacemos da, my father, have a car, uh -huh. with the mouse I have, porque estamos usando también el auxiliar das en la pregunta. Uh -huh. okay. Sí, sí. Entonces, okay. significa que, my father, has a car solo va en la afirmativa okay. uh -huh. en la interrogativa o en la negativa usamos has con el auxiliar da ok and then the same happens with the with the verb go ok have go the bus goes the negative the bus doesn't doesn't what go go okay the bus doesn't go downtown okay downtown okay the bus doesn't go downtown. Question, does the bus go downtown? Downtown. There you go. No, pues. Okay, no problem. No problem. All right. Very good. Okay, so this is for you to remember, right? When you use have, when you use has, when you use does. There you go. Here we have. Okay, this is the one that we see in the complete the sentences, select the correct their forms, and then we have a complete the sentences. And you have two choices, have or has. Now check. Have, have, have. have. The, have. If the subject have. in the beginning is yeah, yes. plural or singular. We say have. Plural. Plural. Okay. plural. plural, correct. The next one. My mom and dad goes. Goes. Singular. Goes. Singular or plural? Plural. Plural, then go or go? Go. 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 Remember that goes is only for he, she, it. Only it for, uh -huh, only one person. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next one. Um, do. 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 This is do. I do, right? It's singular, singular I, but with the... So I do. I do. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not third person. Okay, my brother. My brother don't believe this Wait, wait, wait. Um, Where is this? Okay, my brother. Good. Has. 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 
Okay, my brother has. Okay, good. The other one? Goes. 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 Um. Okay. Next one. Here. Dogs. 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 And he does. Uh -huh, he does. Does. Then we have the next one. Have. I have. Have. I have. 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 Okay. I have. His, his name is Young. We, we go. 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 We go. Go. And sometimes we. And sometimes we do. 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 Okay. Good. Then it is important, okay, to remember that goes, as, does, work is only for he. She and it. Bravo, bravo. Okay, congratulations. <laughs> congratulations. It's team, teamwork, okay? Trabajo en equipo. Ah, teamwork. Okay. Están colaborando a mi nota porque esta nota va para mí. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, good. So then, if you see, for example, all of them correct, eh, it is important to identify the subject, okay, el sujeto siempre hay que identificarlo, si, si ven acá les ponen varias trampitas, aquí my parents, okay, es they, pero aquí le ponen my mom and dad, también es ellos, right, they, so it's plural, my parents are, so this is, so I is do, primera persona, right, then my brother doesn't live with us, he has, tercera persona, he, uh, then we have uh, he goes, tercera persona too, and he does, also third person. Entonces, es importante identificar esto para usar. Okay? No problem? Okay. okay. No problem, teacher. Right. Okay, no problem. Good. Um, now we have to move on to the next one. It says, by the end of this class, you will be able to form simple present questions. Right? Additionally, you will practice a conversation about daily routines, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Okay, ya le di un avance de las preguntas. Now we'll see, pay attention. Y si tienen preguntas, me las hacen al final del video, right? Let me see, here we go. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form simple present questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about daily routines, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. I would like to get started by practicing a conversation, which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's listen and practice. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at 1 o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. We just heard a conversation in which lots of questions were asked and answer. I would like to explain how these questions are formed. Let me start by explaining the auxiliary verbs that are used when forming questions in the simple present. Do and does are the auxiliary verbs. As we start forming questions, you must also understand this rule. Do equals to I, you, we and they. Does equals to he, she, and it. 
This means that we will use the auxiliary do whenever we use the pronouns I, you, we, and they. And we will use the auxiliary does whenever we use the pronouns she, he, she, and it. She, Having said this, let me write the formulas to four questions. It. For yes or no questions, do or does plus subject plus the verb plus some kind of complement. For WH questions, WH word plus do or does plus a subject plus a verb plus some kind of complement. Now let's take a look at the simple present questions on your screen. Do you get up early? No, I get up late. Does he have lunch at noon? No, he eats lunch at one o'clock. Do they drive to work? Yes, they drive to work every day. What time do you get up? At 10 o'clock. What time does he have lunch? At 1 o'clock. When do they drive to work? Every day. On the left side of the chart, you can see yes or no questions. So if you recall the formula that I mentioned a minute ago, for yes or no questions, do or does, plus a subject, plus some kind of verb, plus a complement. Uh, we're going to take the first example. Do you get up early? Do is the auxiliary verb. You is the subject. Get up is the verb. And early is the complement. And of course, we need to add a question mark at the end. The next question. Does is the auxiliary verb. He is the subject. Have is the verb. Lunch at noon is the complement. Of course, we need to add a question mark at the end. Now, let me show you WH questions. Once again, if you recall the formula that I mentioned a minute ago, for WH questions, WH word plus do or does plus a subject plus some kind of verb plus some kind of complement. Uh, let me select the first question on the right side of the chart. What time do you get up? What time is the WH word? Do is the auxiliary verb. You is the subject. Get up is the verb. And let's just analyze one more example. What time does he have lunch? What time is the WH word? Does is the auxiliary. He is the subject. Have is the verb. Lunch is the complement. Now it's your turn to practice these concepts by making as many examples of your own as you possibly can. Focus on making questions and answers. Form questions about the routine of your family, friends, and coworkers. After you complete this task, Share it in our discussion forums. All right, questions? And let's just analyze one more. Okay, any doubt for questions? that you have now you have a uh, yes no questions and you also have some information questions right information questions with what where why how who okay when you ask questions with this word 
then you have like more, um, let's say that you need or you are asking for more information. All right, then we're going to Okay, just let me try to tomar una imagen, unas imágenes para la asistencia. Y al final voy a tomar otra para que quede record. Here we go. One, two. Dejen ahorita. And the Okay, then, eh, vamos a jugar un juego. Okay, I'm gonna have a game right now. Ya han jugado 20 questions? No? No, teacher. Okay. No, teacher. Okay, give me a chat. No, teacher. No, teacher. Not the chat. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, good. Now, uh, we're going to use questions like you going to ask me question with to you or that, okay? Uh, I'm going to change my name, okay? Uh, I'm going to change my name and you are going to guess. Van a adivinar cuál es mi nuevo nombre, okay? Y me pueden hacer preguntas de si, yo lo puedo decir sí o no. Ok. Yes, I do. Y pueden hacerme preguntas si quieren con Gaspi o Gaspi. Puede ser nombre de mujer o cualquier nombre de Ustedes tienen que identificar todo eso. Que en 20 oportunidades, right? That you're going to have to ask me a question. Y van uniendo las, las respuestas que yo doy, ok. Yes. Le voy a poner unos ejemplos de preguntas en el chat. Seis, por ejemplo. Uh, puede ser, are you a woman, por ejemplo. Ok. Yo le voy a decir si sí o no. Right. Si les digo sí, entonces van a preguntar de sí, de sí, de sí. Van a ir creando la idea de, de quién puedo ser. Right. Si les digo que no. Por discriminación, va a decir, ah, ok, entonces es hombre, right? No sé, then, uh, that's he. Or you can use, si quieren preguntar otro, pueden decir, do you? Ok, do you give in, uh, in El Salvador? Ok, le voy a decir, yes, I do, or no, I don't. Ok. Entonces, pero si quieren saber de dónde sale usted, uh, are, you, are you from, are you from the USA? Okay. And then you're going to go like that. All right. Preguntas? Okay, teacher. Okay, stop, stop. Okay, then uh, let me let me choose my new name. 
Ok, lo voy a escribir aquí en el chat para solo darle enter cuando lo adivine. Ok, let me see. I'm going to use. Um, ok, listo. Ask me questions. Cuando me lo adivine, solo doy enter y van a ver el nombre. Ok, good. Questions. Cualquiera puede preguntar. Do you have do you have children? Do you have children? Yes, I do. Va una. Do you have woman or men? Are you a woman? Uh, no. Uh, you you like are pizza? are you are boy? Are you a boy? Yes. Okay. Are you a boy? Yes, boy. Uh -huh. Then, what is the first letter of your name? <laughs> Solo puedo decir sí o no, Rafael. Okay. Do you like pizza, uh -huh. Melvin? And then, Ruth. do you like pizza? Pizza. Oh, uh, yes, I do. Ruth. Okay. Do you live in from uh, San Miguel? El, no, no. Not in, not in El Salvador. No. Okay. Do your name start with Powell? Does your name? Does your name start? Does with? your name start with Powell? Pa with power. Powell, vocal. Ah, oh, Powell, Powell, with a Powell. Uh, no, it's consonant. Do you are drink beer? Do you drink beer? Uh, uh, yes, I <laughs> guess yes. 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 Seven questions. What is a graduate from the color? Repeat, please. Is black your favorite color? Is black my favorite color? No, I don't think so. Are you a singer? Okay, esas son buenas preguntas. Are you a singer? No. Are you an actor? Eh, no. Do you sing uh, on the show? Uh, yes, Edith. Repeat. Are you a student? Are you a student? No. Uh, you are Mario? Yes. Are uh, you player you... soccer? Are you a soccer player? Yes. Do you no. like coffee? Coffee. Yeah, probably, yes. Probably. You are a grandpa? Uh, Maria Jose, yeah. You are a grandfather? Are you? Are you a grandfather? No. No. Are, are you Portuguese? Are you Portuguese? Uh, no. 15. Pero cerca. Close. Uh, uh -huh. Are you, are you like, do you um, like, you, sir? do you like, or do you live? Do you live in USA? In the USA? No. No. Do you like do you uh, ice cream chocolate? Ah, do you like uh, ice chocolate? I think chocolate. Yes. yes. Are you from France? Okay. Are you from France? No. Do you like merengue? Do you like? Do you like merengue? Uh, probably, yes. Are you travel like in the vacation? USA? Melvin? Are you travel in the USA? Yes, I travel. I have travel. Okay. Do you speak Do more loud? Do you speak? More loud? More? If I speak what? 
Are you Argentinian? Are you Argentinian? No. Are you a happy man? Yes. Okay, you have 25. You have 25 questions. <laughs> okay, va. Hoy les voy a dejar que hagan preguntas con what, lo que quieran. What? What, where, who? Where are you from? Eh, Brazil. Thank you. Okay. What do you do? Play soccer. What is your last name? Last name? I don't know. I don't know. De veras que no sé. What color is your skin? Let's say a white. No, not too white, but it's a fair skin. Not black. Who are you with? Who am I with? Uh, with my family. Which continent do you live? Europe. In Europe. How old are you? Oh, maybe 40, 42. Do you play soccer? Uh, not now, not anymore. I am retired. What is your favorite comedy movie? Ah, I don't know. When is your birthday? Birthday. Uh, don't remember. What is your word? Yes, Ruth. Ruth Del Carmen. What is your word? Ah, where do you work? Uh, I work at the Real Madrid. He has children? Yes. What favorite food? Good. Maybe, maybe lasagna. Where is your favorite beach? Uh, no, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, now more general questions. Okay, remember, from Brazil, work at Real Madrid. I live in Europe. Uh, I am retired. I have children. Uh, what else? Uh, soccer player. I was a soccer player. Who is the person? What is your playing position? Defense. Are you a trainer? No, no. Not really. I think the answer is Sergio Ramos. No, because he's retired. Retirado. Retired. Huh? Okay. But very close. Very close. Tatiana. Ya anda cerca. Is it you, Ronaldinho? <laughs> no, because it's uh, Real Madrid, defense. Okay, but begins with R. Comienza con R. Which is your favorite song? My favorite? Song. Song, song, song. Are you Ronaldo Nazario? You are uh, Ronaldo? No, defense, defense. He was forward. Él era delantero. Are you Raul Gonzalez Blanco? No, he's from Spain, no Brazil. Are you Marcelo? Hey, no, because he are you so yeah, where are where? you Roberto Carlos? Yes. Yes. Roberto Carlos. Yes, that's correct. 
That's my name. Okay, that, that was my name. Okay, you see, this is uh, how you can practice. Así se pueden practicar preguntas. Presente, right? Yes, no questions. Are you? Okay. Y las uh, information questions, right? Where do you live? Where are you from? Uh, what is the first letter of your last name? Uh, well, uh, where do you work? Uh, where do you study? Do you have children? All the questions that you were using in this game, right? It's a, it's a way to, to practice or uh, structure, para practicar estructura, right? Como se conforma una, una pregunta, right? Okay, questions? No more questions? No question. Okay. No question. Perfect. Now we're going to now we're going to move back to the screen. Okay, and remember this, right? So we have here the questions. We you get up early. These are the yes, no questions. No, I get up late. Uh, does he have a uh, lunch at noon? No, he eats lunch at one o'clock. Do they drive to work? And you say, yes, they drive to work every day. Then what time do you get up? What time does he have lunch? And when do they drive to work? Okay, for WH question, you have do, does, and what time do you get up? Okay. Acuérdense que siempre, si les quedan dudas y después surgen, siempre pueden preguntar, ok, no importa si fue de la primera clase o lo que sea, ¿no? A veces surgen más adelante dudas. No se queden con ellos, ¿ok? Good. Eh, then, the next one. Eh, here. Eh, Elsie, could you please read the uh, instructions here in this? Yes, in this knowledge check. Que lo lea, ¿verdad? Por favor, yes. Me, me, me corrige porque me cuesta bastante la pronunciación. No problem. Uh, uh, un, un scramble de question to complete the conversation with the... Right, right. With the... ¿Cómo? Right. Write the question in the black. This... This day, this time. No. time, you don't know, you don't know that need, you, you don't need, need do you, come on. You don't need this, to type. You don't need to type, type and a question ma mark, mark, mark a day in. End, at the end. end. Okay, very good. Okay. At the end. Okay, so this is, you know, the, we have to unscramble is the cifra las preguntas, okay? Es como ponerla ya en el orden correcto, right? Okay, right now they are, the, for example, you see, do you exercise every day? Yes, I exercise every day. And here it says, you every day exercise do. Okay, so which is the correct form? of this question here. What is something? What, what, what time, time do you eat, you eat lunch? Okay, what time? Do you eat lunch? What time, time? 
Do you eat lunch? Do, do you eat lunch? Lunch. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you have. No aparece, pero vamos a ponerle el question. Okay. Okay. Good. Then, no, this class starts at nine. Here, so what time do you have lunch? Uh, at 1 p.m. 1 p.m. Does this class start Does at this class start at this class o'clock? Start at 8 o'clock. Start uh -huh, at 8 o'clock. Okay. Aquí puede hacer que me salga a mí mal por el apóstrofe. Uh -huh. Okay. Se puede dar el caso. Okay. The next one. When do you study English? When do you study English? Okay. When? Do okay. you study English? When do you study English? Question. Okay. And the last one? Do you and do your peers you play for on weekend? Do you and, and your friends, friends, your friends play sport? Play sport on weekends. On weekends. Play sports on weekends. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, there we have questions. Ah, yo creo que la pregunta no tiene que ir porque veo que ya está en la pregunta. Ya tiene el sí, signo. Ajá. No nos va a salir mala, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. okay. uh, this, this class is start at 8 o'clock. Y el punto. Okay, what time do you have lunch? No. Okay, let's see. Okay, you say when do you study English? Ah, okay. Hey, very good. Yeah, very good. Eh, hay que poner atención a esos detallitos que a uno se le escapan a veces, entonces a veces no es porque uno no sepa. Okay. Hay que observar, right? So here you have this one, this one, this one. Okay. Good. Ya vieron qué bueno soy. Miren, me saqué otro día. Thank you. Okay, no, thank you very much. Excellent. <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, good. Saludando con sombrero ajeno, yo, right? This is what we do. Okay, fine. Then, uh, no questions about this? Okay, remember, esta es otra vez la práctica de la estructura. ¿sí? Hicimos el juego y aquí aparece cómo ordenarlo en el orden correcto, right? So, you say, what time do you eat lunch? Does this class start at the clock? When do you study English? And do you and your friends play sports? On with okay, nice. Okay, here we have the let me see if we can get the help. Tatiana, could you please read the lesson objective here? 1.11. By the end of this class, you will develop the skill in the predicting, scanning, and sequencing events after reading and discussion three interviews about shelters. Schedule, okay, schedule. Schedule. Okay, here for example, we say to develop a skill, okay, desarrollar esa habilidad, right? To predict, scan, and find the sequence of events. Of events, you know, when discussing about the interviews about a schedule, okay? So this is important. Pay attention to that material here. 
you see the sequence of them in two different inputs. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop. Okay. Uh, turn off your microphones. Apagen los micrófonos para que no les interfiera. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in predicting, scanning, and sequencing events. After reading, lesson three and about schedules. Reading? What's your schedule like? Student reporter mm -hmm. Mike Starr talks to people on the street about their schedules. Brittany Davis, college student. What's your schedule like? My classes start at 8 a.m., so I get up at 7 and take the bus to school. When do your classes end? They end at noon. Then I have a job at the library. So, when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening, from 8 until midnight. Joshua Burns, website designer. What's your schedule like? Well, I get up at 6.30 a.m. and go for a run before breakfast. How do you go to work? I work at home. I start work at 8. Around 1, I take a lunch break. How late do you work? Sometimes I work all night to finish a project. Maya Black, rock musician. What's your schedule like? I work at night. I go to work at 10 p.m. and I play until 3 a.m. What do you do after work? I have dinner. Then I take a taxi home. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at 5 in the morning. I go to work at 10 p.m. Okay. Questions about vocabulary? Preguntas? Acerca del vocabulario? Teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia esa palabra? Cheu, cheu, no sé. Schedule, schedule. ¿Cómo? Schedule, schedule. ¿Qué significa? Eso significa horario. Entonces, ¿Cómo? Students, eh, horario. Uh -huh. Horario. Okay. Students before Mike Star talks to people on the street about their schedule. Ok. Está hablando con las personas acerca de sus horarios. Right? Esto puede ser de trabajo o de estudio. Right? Okay. 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 ¿Qué más? What else do you have? Breakfast table. Breakfast. Desayuno. Yes. Desayuno. Thank you. All right. Tienes que fast, eso, esta palabra es igual que, que en español, el fast es ayunar. Fast, F-A-S-T. Y break es romper. Entonces, si se llama, solo ponemos fast, es ayuno. Ajá. Entonces usted hace, al romper el ayuno, es un desayuno. Igual que en español, ¿no? se dice ayunar. Y para romper el ayuno es desayunar. Entonces es similar. What else? Thank you, teacher. Teacher, ¿qué quiere decir donde dice at noon? Al mediodía. Ah, ok. Thanks. Ok. Midnight. ¿Qué quiere decir midnight? Midnight. Medianoche. Midnight. Ah, ok. Con, eh, lo, lo otro de las otras 12 horas después del noon. Right? At noon es el mediodía. En midnight es la medianoche. Ahí se hace la diferencia. Ajá, yeah. uh -huh. ok, no, thank you. Midnight. Ok. What else?
Only. Okay, ahora se lo voy a otra poner, but this time, ahora enfoquense en la pronunciación. Okay, now uh, let's see. En la, en la entonación, right? M, and I play it. And sequencing events. After reading and discussing three interviews about schedules. Reading. What's your schedule like? Okay, schedule. What is your schedule like? ¿Cómo es horario? What is your schedule, schedule like? What's your schedule like? Oh my God, dígalo. Teacher. Oh. No, 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 Mayra Dilorio. Es que me cuesta, teacher. Por eso, sí. un reto, vamos a un reto. Audio. What your, what your children likes. Espera, espera, espera. Student Exacto. reporter Mike Starr no, talks to schedules. Reading. What's your schedule like? Es que, mire, es que yo. Yes, es que yo. Schedule. Go ahead. Es que es que dor. Es que dor. Ok, Tatiana. Es que dor. Es que dor. Ok, Marta Lilian. Es que dor. Es que dor. Ok, good. Ok, se me perdió aquí. Tenía a. Rafael, Rafael Antonio. Schedule. Schedule. Good. Schedule. Rodrigo. Schedule. Schedule. LC. Es que schedule. 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 And then uh, let's say, Rodrigo. Schedule. Schedule. Okay. Yes. Okay, good. Schedule. Now listen again. Now, uh, Stephanie, listen. Schedule. Schedule. Okay, good. Now listen. Schedules. Reading. What's your schedule like? Student reporter Mike Starr talks to people on the street about their schedules. Brittany Davis, college student. What's your schedule like? My classes start at 8 a.m., so I get up at 7 and take the bus to school. When do your classes end? They end at noon. Then I have a job at the library. So, when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening from 8 until midnight. Joshua Burns, website designer. What's your schedule like? Well, I get up at 6.30 a.m. and go for a run before breakfast. How do you go to work? I work at home. I start work at 8. Around 1, I take a lunch break. How late do you work? Sometimes I work all night to finish a project. Maya Black, rock musician. What's your schedule like? I work at night. I go to work at 10 p.m. and I play until 3 a.m. What do you do after work? I have dinner. Then I take a taxi home. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at 5 in the morning. Okay. Do you after work? I have dinner. It says I have dinner. Okay, good. So then this is the the pronunciation, information, vocabulary, and uh, see the sequence. For example, when they are talking about Mike in Brittany, uh, they say my classes start at 8 a.m., so I get up at 7. 
Uh, then when do your class when do your classes end at noon? You have mm -hmm. early in the morning, seven noon. Then you have uh, I have my only time to study is in the evening from eight until midnight. They so have morning, noon, and night. Uh, well, I get up 6.30 a.m. and go for a run. Before breakfast, how do you go to work? I work at home. I start work at 8. So this is the sequence of events. Eso es lo que decía en el objetivo, ¿eh? Que veamos la secuencia de eventos. Entonces, mañana vamos a practicar. Ustedes van a poner, por ejemplo, cuál es la secuencia de sus eventos, right? Pero, como diríamos en español, las líneas gruesas. Por ejemplo, yo le digo, I start my classes at 7 a.m. Okay, this is my schedule. This is my schedule. My class start at 7 a.m. And I finish my classes at noon. Okay, from 7 to noon. Then I, in the afternoon, I uh, check homework. I check homework from 6 to 9 p.m. I teach classes online. Okay, from 6 to 9 p.m. I teach classes online. So this is, you know, the most principal. Hay muchas actividades que no hace. In the morning, I start my classes at 7. Then I finish my classes at noon. Then I check hunger. Then I teach from 6 to 9 p.m. I teach classes online. And so those, that is the sequence of my events in my schedule. Está mi horario. 7 a 12. Luego en la tarde calificar. Y de 6 a 9. Dar Ahí está mi horario y la secuencia de los eventos. Ok. So, Prepare something like that. Preparen algo así para mañana. Practiquen, ¿ok? Y mañana lo vamos a hacer aquí oralmente. Así como practicamos hoy la estructura de las preguntas, mañana vamos a hacer secuencia de preguntas. Hey, people. Ok. Any questions? Ok, teacher, no questions. No questions at all. Ok, so if there are no questions. No. Okay, eh, solamente... Eh, si hay alguien o algunos que aún no han eh, ¿cómo es que se llama? Eh, entregado su ¿cómo se llama? el documento el, el manual eh, recordarles que, que me han dicho de administración que les recordara hoy y me les mando también su, su mensaje aparte para, para que lo tengan pero si alguien se le ha escapado pues eh, lo mandan eh, una cosa más, lo último, vamos, ¿tienen algunas dudas para prepararlas para mañana sobre la plataforma? ¿Han tenido problemas de la plataforma? No, teacher. No, no teacher. Todo. No, teacher. Entonces, cualquier duda, ya saben, me la dicen y preparamos, resolvemos, sacamos dudas. Have a very good night. Ok, hey, teacher. Good hey, teacher. Good night. Bye. 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 Good night.